Today is a Saturday. Reese is going to get a blood test. Then we're going to go to Kmart to get a new blanket. We've got a really comfy one from Kmart called Supreme Comfort. And it feels like one of those down blankets, but obviously it's not. Reese has been really hot at night still, different to his like drenching fever sweats that he was having when he was really sick, but still sweating. And it has to be the blanket because he stayed at his family's place recently and didn't sweat at night. So it has to be our blanket or our mattress or something. So we've got to buy a new one of those. We need to go to Bunnings to get some edging. We're going to do decking all around our, not all around our house, but in all of the areas that needed some kind of outdoor flooring. But on one of the areas where you're kind of looking out to the shed, that little V shape almost. It's already quite dark and the composite decking we were looking at is just so expensive that we're thinking maybe we should go for something else. Like we, we've seen these travertine stone pavers at Bunnings that are really nice. So we're thinking that those will look really good. It also suit the limestone that's already around our house and um, it'll light the area a little bit and it's a little bit cheaper. And then we've been getting quotes for the decking. One of the guys came out and basically was bad mouthing the composite decking that we we're thinking about installing and saying that Merbau and real timber are better. Reese has found that the same size boards Merbau is almost like half the price. Anyway, just planted a seed and we've been thinking about it. That's a priority for us at this point because there's just so much sand coming into the house, even though we're trying to mitigate it. It's just really annoying and it just it just needs to be done sooner rather than later. We're close to finalizing our blinds. I'm getting my extensions taken out on Tuesday. Cannot wait. It has nothing to do with the damage anymore. I just cannot stand the feeling of them washing it and it feels gross washing it with the little bonds in there. Drying takes so long. I feel like I'm damaging my natural hair because I have to dry for so much longer than styling it, putting extra heat on it to make it look good and blend. I just can't. I just, I'm not cut out for this life. So, oh, Tuesday. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Reese just got a stunning new haircut. I'm not going to put him on camera because I know he doesn't want to be. But he's looking fresh and fine as always. <laughs> Embarrassing him. Still haven't gotten a firm diagnosis. We thought it happened weeks ago. It looks like it might be cholangitis now, which if you want to Google that, it makes perfect sense, but still don't really know at this point. Ah, ran back to the car, covered in water. To Kmart. Oh, my whole face is wet. I want something for the shelves inside the closet. Went to Bunnings and found this storage little shelf thing. It is exactly what I was after. I wanted, I'm just using this room as a kind of photography studio almost. And I have so much equipment that hasn't got a home. On this side, a light, just some random bits and pieces. And this fits perfectly. It's the perfect height. I mean, if you, they do have one with drawers. If you, like if this was a closet, you could leave that side completely free, put shoes or jackets or anything you wanted to fold in here, because at the moment they just come with those rods. I bought one for this room and then we'll put a shelf in there and then I can store all my tripods and stuff in there. In my makeup room, I've got two of these instead. Now the next challenge is finding the perfect little storage containers that I might stick on the bottom, stick the bottom on here and then have them all pull out drawers or something. I don't know, I'm probably getting ahead of myself now. Something that pulls out easily, large fridge drawer. These are too expensive for one. Stackable clear baskets. Oh, oh no, I've got these at home, I think. Yeah, I've got, I've got these at home but they don't they don't roll maybe something like this that one there's probably better after all because it has this segments do i already have some of those i just probably can't stack them because that makes it difficult draw organizer small and even those are good how much are they For six it's actually handy six dollars on clearance i could buy four of those and then even put some of these in no, that doesn't work. Need another one of these. Apparently these are good. Just want to get some of these. Decreases drying time, softens fabrics, reduces wrinkles, reduces static. Get one of these. We'll hold our brooms in the closet. I'm gonna try some of these to hang my tripods up in the shelf. Sorry, in the cupboard. How many? Seven. Hard to explain. 
some little booties. Yeah, the blue's nicer than black. Oh, we've got this one, which is very like dad vibes. Yeah, <laughs> Hopefully they're not different in colour. This is more interest in plain limestone, more more history, more personality. You had one going that way. See how the boards come across and then mm. the board underneath. Going yeah, the other way, so the nice. board. Really nice. This is the Merbal. Really nice. Beautiful, but it's so expensive. Look how small that piece is for twenty dollars. Ten of those, that's two hundred ten. Two hundred bucks. So where it's gonna, I mean, in the garden areas, like in outside yeah, of our main living area, that'll look, be look perfect. Just the plastic stuff? cheapy stuff around the driveway because it's not a feature. It's just keeping everything in place. There's need to be. We need to get a thick one. I mean, it's only two dollars. At four, three, two, twenty-one, twenty-four, three dollars extra. At least it'll hold everything in place a lot nicer, more nice. Then you can pop it up a bit better. But the colour's a bit odd. Or is it? Eh, colour's not as nice as the other one. Oxy Shield. Yeah, they put a coating over it because it's normally like that. Ah, okay. They put a thing over it, that rough. Corrodes it or rusts it. Oh, that's good because it's the colour of the the driveway. That's great. It's quite sturdy. Yeah. How much is that? Sixty-three dollars. Just yeah. that, like, main area yeah, between the shed and the house. Well. Yeah, and around your shed area, like where you drive up to when you're turning around. We start with two. Look at all these weird red dots on my face. Not sure what's causing that. Uh, hopefully, it's just like a dietary thing or something. Cause it's just so off-putting when you haven't changed anything in your routine, and then stuff like this happens. All that, that's your only free one that I've got because they're all being used here. Because all this lighting I want to have permanently out. I just need to organize it better because it's just so nice to be able to use it whenever I need it. But oh, wait, there's a tripod right there. Grab another one. Mm. That doesn't feel ideal. I need to lock it in place. I feel like that's that'll have to do. Oh wow, this will probably gonna be way too big. Ah, oh, bugger, too big. Don't four of them too. So I've also got this side, which has all the stuff that I thought I organized well. I mean, I kind of did, but I, don't know, I think it's probably is the best way. Unfortunately, it just doesn't look very doesn't look very neat. And I think I need to get some more of these smaller ones. Ugh bit ugly because you can't see into it. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Oh, wait, no, I can. They do close. It's just this one that doesn't close. So if I've only got these long ones on one side and it's probably best to put them down low. Mm, yes. Oh, but I just hate how that looks. I hate that it comes out so far. Cute. Oh, slick. I'm gonna wash my hair. <clears throat> Even sleeping is so uncomfortable. I mean, it's gotten a lot better since I first had them in. That was really uncomfortable and like actual, like kind of hurt a bit. I mean, it's gonna be depressing not having the length anymore and the thickness, obviously. That was the main thing, but I think I've finally realized the grass isn't always greener. I was looking through my old photos, even just from the, when I got my hair done. I'll include some footage now while I'm talking of how it looked just after she colored it, so like a, a week or two ago. And I was like, oh, my cute little hair. <laughs> just made me appreciate what I've already got, which is always a good thing. It's like too high maintenance for me. Someone messaged me and was like, this reminds me of when you got lash extensions 
and took them out after like a few days. I'm just not used to it. Gotta be so careful when the hair is wet because that is when it's it's most vulnerable. I've got this protective conditioning fluid. Distribute into towel dried hair, leave in product. It doesn't say how much. So I don't know, three pumps is probably quite a lot, but oh, I hate the feeling of it. The hair's so much heavier when it's wet. I can feel it pulling. Yeah, that was too much product. I might just wash the rest off my hands. Oh, I hate this feeling. Oh, I feel so nice using this on my scalp and scratching my scalp. Now to dry. So I'm just going to, I just want to dry where, where the bonds are basically, gently. I might use the brush attachment now just to get rid of some of that weight from the bottom of my hair that's still wet because the roots have been, most of them, I mean, it's a good quick dry at least. I'm trying also to remind myself, like looking back at old photos and stuff from like <laughs> last week so that when I get the extensions out, I don't freak out. <laughs> it smells like eggs. I don't know why it smells like eggs. It's not my hair, it must be the, the other person's hair. Oh my god, that's so weird. I feel like that's most of it on this side. Oh, there's still a bit damp back here, but it's looking a bit frizzy. It's hard because I can't use the brush on this part of my hair because from like here to here is all the keratin bonds. So I'm not going to bother straightening my hair. No, I would rather do so to make it a bit, a bit less fluffy because I don't want to use extra heat on my hair than I need to. I mean, I'm getting them taken out on Tuesday. This is basically just a courtesy wash to make sure my hair's clean for them. It is nice to have a nice juicy ponytail though. <sighs> Done. Yeah, it looks much better when it's straightened because right now it looks like, like that looks like extensions. The weather is so temperamental. Can I show you what's going on outside? Oh, the windows are fogged up. It just pours down out of nowhere. And then it's sunny. And then it's not. And then it's sunny. And then it's not. Reese's new haircut. I just keep telling him, you look so handsome. <laughs> like, you always look handsome. But God, he looks very handsome. What do you think of my new socks memes? My little booties? <laughs> They're kind of not actually that comfortable. I can feel the seam on my toe. And I feel like I should have gotten the bigger size. These were a five to an eight. I'm a seven, so you think they would be right. But I guess they will they'll thin out and flatten out once I wear them in a bit longer, but <laughs> I've got proper Ugg boots, but I just don't like wearing them on these floors. Look at that beautiful haircut, that beautiful man. Looks like you got a tan. Yeah. That hospital son. <laughs> hospital son. <laughs> Having his tea, his Doritos. You're so handsome. <laughs> Pretends he can't hear me anytime. <laughs> can't, take a can't take a compliment. He's not going to give you a Dorito memes. He'll give you a lick of his tea, but not a Dorito. Not too much. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My hair. Frizzy. This is how it looks when I don't straighten it. So, oh gosh, that's really bad. That's why having the waves was so much better because you couldn't see which was which. Reese is drawing up deck planning. I want to start on dinner 
we have, <laughs> I don't know why, I wanted to make soups, but I think I got a little bit too excited about the prospect of making food that I was like, let's make three soups and bought all of the ingredients for the soups at once. <laughs> Not really smart in hindsight. I think next time it's just one soup a week maybe. But anyway, I've had cauliflower in the fridge for about 10 years. So hopefully it's not moldy and growing like new life forms. But we made cauliflower soup before and it was really nice. One large head of cauliflower. Large head of cauliflower. I did give it a sniff test the other day. I don't know how that is still okay to eat. It just does not smell and cauliflower stinks if it's if it's ripe. Extra virgin olive oil. I decanted it into this nice little bottle. Fine sea salt. It's your average sea salt. Medium oh red onion. So all that time, babe, we didn't even need a brown onion. We just needed a red one. <laughs> Weird. Medium red onion. Two cloves of garlic. Let's add a few more. There's a tiny little wimpy garlics, so that probably three or four. Four cups of vegetable broth. Four cups of vegetable broth. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. I only have salted butter, so that is too bad. Lemon juice, ground nutmeg. Don't recall owning this, but apparently we do. For garnish, parsley. <laughs> I've got no time for that. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Come on, you've got to know that there are other people in that are reading your recipes. Can't you just put in brackets? What 425 degrees Fahrenheit is in Celsius? 425F to C. 220 degrees. And bake. Temperature. On the baking sheet, toss the cauliflower. What do I do with the cauliflower first? One large head of cauliflower, about two pounds. Cut into bite-sized florets. Are you watching me? That's so embarrassing. He's watching me in the reflection of the doors. That's so rude. Mm -hmm. I'd love a hand. Guess what? Yeah. No, he's super handsome, but... He just pretended to spray my cauliflower with cleaning detergent. Oh, do you want to do everything? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. right. On that note, I'll do it all. We've got like 10,000 yeah, frozen yeah. soups in the freezer. We're making oh, more soup. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got so many soups in the freezer. We're making another soup. Because <laughs> we've got to use this cauliflower. It's brand new. A week ago. It was brand new a week ago. It won't take long. So that was no confidence. How long does it take? One hour and ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, then, do you want to just eat something else, and I'll make this. We will make this. <laughs> make it and not eat it. Put it in containers for next. <laughs> and freeze it while, while, while we make another soup. <laughs> just disintegrates if it explodes. It's <laughs> just so you can put that in there. Done. Just put this. Put this in. I bought this thing online. Apparently, like mince garlic with it. How long for? 25 to 35 minutes. We'll do 25. This little thing from Kmart was the best invest investment ever. It was like $6. It doesn't, doesn't work. That's because it's this chunks are too big. Mince, so we meant to go like this. Hmm. Good job. Oops, I'm just grating it now. <laughs> and you just got this like skin that's left over. That's pretty cool. That's so <laughs> much quicker. Can someone let me know if um, mincing garlic is any different to finely chopping? Chopping. I mean, in theory, it sounds like it would be different because you're like polarizing it. So you're probably releasing more of the goodness and like making it softer and more tender, but it, does that really make that much of a difference? Oh God, that was so wonderful.
Okay, it's been a little while. It looks horrible, but it also looks delicious because it looks all caramelized and amazing. Mmm, smells good. Interesting it was a red onion and not a brown one. I wonder why that is, but... Or a white onion, whatever they call them. Brown onion, yeah. So now I need to take this out now that it's all softened. And put it in that. Which freaks me out because I just don't feel right about putting hot things into this little Kmart food processor. But it'll be fine. Okay, let me try this. Oh, this is going to be good. I just know it. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, yum. Mmm, yum. Oh, just making cauliflower soup from now on. Yum. Yum. Okay, this is without any, like, cream or dairy. <laughs> Lemon. Oh my god, the lemon in the vegetable soup was so good too. Mmm. Ow. It like, it adds a dimension to it. It's like a, it's like salt. It, it works like salt. Stunning. Ow, 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 hot. The suspense is killing me. Come on. I will link the recipe to the soup in the description. It's just so simple. All right, the big reveal is yeah, awesome on the lips. Anyway, I ate your soup. Shot. Just, I mean, it looks like baby food, but it's nice. It's a matter of take judge by its cover. Judge it by its delicious insides. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the jumping up and down that I was expecting? Well, no. That's the problem with soup, is that it's not as exciting because you're not chewing. It doesn't feel like you're having a proper meal. It fills you up in the right way, but it doesn't feel satisfying. That's why it's good to have bread with it and like carbs. <laughs> I just need to be drinking this with a spoon. I mean, a straw. I mean, a, str a straw. Bye. Camera's on. Let me get out of here. Ah, bye, memes. Never lay on this couch. It's like, oh, it's such a beautiful, comfy couch, but I mean, we'll lay in it when we have the fire. When the fire, we'll be spending hours and hours upon hours. We'll be spending hours and hours upon hours. Look at my mouth. Why is it all red? This is what happened when I had that perioral dermatitis thing from my um, toothpaste. But I'm not using that toothpaste anymore, so what's causing it? What's he got? What? So this is an implosion, a vacuum implosion. At We're one, talking about the um, submarine thing. At one atmosphere. A vacuum implosion at one atmospheric pressure. And read it. The Titan sub was at 375 times that. So imagine how quick. A vacuum implosion at one atmospheric pressure. The Titan sub was 375. So that's one. So 375 times that force. It would have just been used. like not even a nanosecond. What yeah, a, instant. What a nanos. wonderful way to die though. You just don't even know what's happening. It just, you, you just cease to exist instantly. Far out. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, everyone was pro like thinking, oh my God, they're probably like in the, they're down at the bottom of the ocean, dark, like terrifying. They're probably freaking out and uh, absolute worst nightmare. But nope, they probably went down. And then just, poof, that's kind of the ideal way to die if you were to die in a... Like, in any other way other than the natural way of death. Not in the middle of the ocean, down in the deep darkness of the scariest place on Earth. <laughs> but, oh my God, you could not... I don't know. I don't know what amount of money you would have to pay me to not, in order to do that. I'm sure there is a number, <laughs> if I'm being honest, but no. I'd have to be, like, sedated, heavily sedated. Wake me up when it's over. <laughs> anyway. If anyone's looking for a new show to watch from, it's only good if you like 
scary stuff. Cute. Yeah, look. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. You done for the night? Ready to relax? Yeah. You too, Nibs? You right, yeah. Yeah. Movies is too long these days. I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. 140 minutes. Where have the 90 minute movies gone? I don't have the attention span. Two hours and 20 minutes. Do you think I have nothing better to do with my time? On a Saturday night, I probably don't. Hey, you're not allowed to have sniff that memes. <laughs> you got free will memes, no one's holding you hostage. <laughs> you know you want to be over here, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> yes. We all knew oh, it. cute. Yes. No, because she wants to play. We all knew it. We all knew it. Yes. We all knew it. Oh, Apple TV Plus. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where are you going? Bye, memes. Well, we all know what you're doing. What's she doing? It's chocolate over there. Oh, naughty. Oh, not allowed that, that memes. Not allowed chocolate. Memes always does this. Should we sitting? You were sitting with your, with your legs, like crossed one over the other, and she'll just push her, not her bum, but like the back of her legs, this side bits there, up into like that, <laughs> so that you give her a back scratch. <laughs> drumstick legs, <laughs> little chicken drumsticks. What are you doing? Getting a toy. I think. Yeah. Hey. Where are you going? You're on the hunt for something. Yeah, yeah, we all kisses, knew where you were going. Kisses. You were doing a try to do the sneaky back way, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I saw you coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> trying to jump up on him. Little gentle gum nuzzles. Did you even finish what I was saying? Uh, Silo. Watch one episode. Seems good. Watching the rest. Excited. She's got her little chew. Her little dental chew. Chewing it with the three teeth she has left. Getting those gums in there. <laughs> Why do I always... I'm always filming in front of you, so you look I'm tiny small, and I look <laughs> humongous. Look at big eyes. Look at <laughs> Turtle. You look like an extra turtle. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> you in the corner. <laughs> uh, anyway. Right. Peace. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Back in my shell. Back in your shell. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed another Loki video. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'll see you all some other time. Toodles. Peace. Love. Prosperity. Name says bye. She's really getting into that chew toy. All right. Peace. Bye.